thought we'd do a review of a pretty cool little robot we picked up this Christmas, which is the Wonder Workshop Dash. He's a robot that you control with a, a tablet device. Um, if you just, he, his box is pretty neat too. It actually converts into a ramp so you can uh, do a drive storage and there's a, uh, a, a USB cable and some attachment pieces as well actually. So the USB cable's for charging them and the attachments are for, so you can actually, uh, actually add some accessories on and such like that. He's actually pretty quick to set up. We were pretty amazed. He does require another device, uh, like an iPad or a um, or an Android tablet or something towards that effect. To use them, you basically just turn them on, and then you're going to be taken to a website, and that website will have you. Oh. Sorry, we'll do that instead. The website will actually have you download the Go app, which is the first app that you'll actually you know, use to play with. There's three of them, uh, three apps there are, but uh, we'll just start quickly with the Go one for now. Um, figured that some information about the robot before we went on to the apps would probably be quite useful. So, first thing is it's very durable. It just seems like a very solid construction. Everything moves very smoothly. The wheels are really intelligently designed with good treks and tracks. Sorry, good treads and tracks. And the uh, the operation seems flawless. We've we, it flies on all surfaces so far quite well. Carpets and hardwood and these foam mats have been really good as well. And uh, he's got numerous lights and such. So there's the front light. He's got the center light in the tops as well. His power button is right here in the center, very uh, well located. This is the charging cable hookup area right there. So that works out quite well as well. And uh, he's got an object detection uh, system up here, I believe. I actually, I haven't actually read about that, but um, we've uh, been able to just in the programs, say detect object and change course and do things like that. So um, it's a good weight, and um, we've had some really good time with uh, battery life on it. I'd say I, we don't know. We haven't exhausted it and run it out yet, but we've definitely run it for well over an hour with, between charges. So from that perspective, the battery's been very good. Um, the range for control seems to be. Uh, at least 20 feet, if not 30 feet. Um, we haven't tried to push that limit either, but it's been perfect for our basement, which is actually a pretty ample size. So, uh, Dash has been you know, really good so far. Uh, the kids can grab onto it and hold it really well, like all ages, and it's it's been very useful so far. Quite enjoy this robot. Anyways, with that, back to the apps. We'll uh, head back over there. Basically, he'll you'll pair the. Uh, um, Dash robot up with this uh, app, and actually he just did a little bit of work there to say he's connected. And then right here is the uh, the controls. So we'll take them out and put them on the uh, on the on the surface here. And let's let's move the boxes away actually. And what you can do here is you can use the joystick to drive him forward or backwards. Yeah. And he can turn around. He, moves, he responds really well, actually. It's a very. Uh, you can change the speed to which you're doing it. Yeah. And you can maybe go faster or slower. That's right. Show a couple more of the other things that you can do on the Go app. So you can turn his head. Yeah. Yep, he's got sounds he can make, and he's also got some actions he can do. So we basically, it's just a remote control interface for him, and you can change various lights on him, and and uh, do all kinds of neat stuff with it. Actually, it's it's pretty fun stuff. He's got they've got just in the basic app, um, and you can even control the uh, the front uh, light system that's on there. I'll just zoom in and. Well, she does this. So she's just turning different lights on and off in the front there. Anyways, it's kind of neat. So, and we'll do, drop into the other app. Okay, so this app is the Path app. And uh, with this one, you can do various um, drag motion programs. So it's kind of the uh, ability to draw a certain route that you want to go and you can tell them to start and stop okay oops 
And you can let him go. And he follows the instructions that you gave him. You can see you can actually handle some up and downs there. You went from the um, floor, sponge floor tiles to the regular floor back to the carpet there without too much issues. And you can delete the, uh, the path you just made and go back and try some of the other parts in the path app. So this one's actually... There we go. Okay, good, good. And make him go. So he can do different sound effects while he's going on his path. So that's kind of a fun one because it's kind of visual. And then the last step that you can play with on this one, which is really the reason we picked this thing up, was um, there's a uh, blocky app, which if you've used Topscotch um, on the iPad, it's or even Logo back way 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 back when, it's very much the same idea. And what this um, allows you to do is it allows you to use uh, programmatical um, instruction blocks in a uh, loop fashion or or in many different fashions, and uh, you can give him instructions like you can block uh, his front obstacle to make him start doing things and. So basically this is a program that, that we're running right now. It's doing many of the controls that he's doing. So I'll just bring this up so you can follow all the stuff he's doing at the moment. So these are all instructions that have been programmed into the iPad app program. Okay, excellent. So you can give it many, many different instructions in there. So you can make him move forward, make him move farther around somewhere. Of course, this is now a bit cockeyed. Okay, so when you push the top button now, he's going to reverse, oh, can you make him turn around a little bit and come all the way back, turn right 180 degrees I guess, and make him go for a longer run, okay. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Anyways, so this thing has been a lot of fun. If you want to go back to the Go app for a second and just show that it can ride on the different surfaces, that'd be great. We'll drive onto the onto the uh, hardwood over there, and then bring them back. Onto the brown floor, please. Okay, turn around. And then bring them back up on top on the other stuff. Anyways, versatile little robot. Kids have had a blast with it. Teaches a bunch of programming stuff. Perfect. Hope this review was helpful.